head coach of the Black Stars after the World Cup, though we saw it coming because he said it earlier on. Now he has stepped up. We have um, AFCON in 2023. Who do you see possibly handling over, taking over the Black Stars? It depends on the people at the FA. They have been given the, the chance to run our football. So as to who comes in to coach the Black Stars, they will have to decide. Uh, if I'm pushed to the wall personally, if they want to look within the technical team that took us to the World Cup, then they have to look at Chris Hilton because we have a very young team, a team that needs proper guidance. A team, in my view, should be coached by an experienced person, and Chris Hilton is that. But uh, if they really think that the technical team should completely give way, then they need to be very smart because the AFCON will be in 2024, not next year. It will, it will be in 2024. So we have roughly about a year to work with this young team. They should look out there, look for a coach, first of all, who is very experienced, second of all, he should be someone who understands whose identity will fit into the Ghanaian way of doing things. If I have my way, I would say, look, let's look within. But on the face of it, if I cast my mind across the coaches in Ghana, the person I would have proposed is Anna Walker, but he is very much focused on the Black Galaxy now, so you have to leave him to complete that job. But if we are going for an expatriate, then that idea of budgeting 50,000 has to stop. Football has evolved and we need to go in for the best if we really want to reap. Because we can't be investing the sort of money we are putting in there and not getting any tangible to show for that. It's been 40 years plus since we won the, uh, our last AFCON. And the next AFCON with this very young team, we should be targeting going to Africa and winning it. And I think that if the likes of Heaven Rena and Co are available, tempt them. Harry Renard would love to coach Ghana. From the way he goes about his things, his coaching, he would love to be part of the Black Stars to make history. And he understands the African terrain better. So it's up to them. I'm, I can only hope that they will bring in the man who fall in love with our game and who will lead this young team into making history. Now, with this current crop of players we, we have, do you think some are deserving to be in the Black Stars? Look, um... I've said it, I'll say it here. The time has come for the team to move on from certain players. And I'm going to mention names. I think the captain of the team, Andre, has given us 16 years, or would have given us 16 years come next January. And I think with all his experience, the time has come for the transition to be made without him. Maybe it wouldn't be wise to completely get him out of the team, but in the immediate future, keep him away from the team and let these boys transit into believing in themselves that without him they can get a job done because he will not be that he, he will not be around for that long so let's move away from him and look we should again inculcate the habit of being honest and truthful with our selection as we speak the team we took to the world cup shouldn't have included certain players it should have included certain players the likes of Joseph Pence, the likes of Jeffrey Schlock, the likes of um, Mash, um, Majid Ashmero. We should go back and talk to players like Alfred Duncan, Bernard Mensah. These are Ghanaian players who are doing very well in Europe. Why should Alfred Duncan say he won't play for the team? Internally, there are so many issues. I'm not going to put that out here. Why should Bernard Mensah, one of our best players, proper number eight, who will bring a lot of difference to our team, why should he say he won't play for our team? I don't want to go there. But the next coach, should come in there and be in the position, being given the power to speak to every Ghanaian who is playing at the very top to be brought back into our team. Because look, I didn't see the Black Stars win the last Afcon in 1982. I was born by them, but I was virtually a kid. I didn't understand what was happening. Now I'm old enough. You are old enough. It's time for us to say it. It will be 42 years since we last won the Afcon. The time has come, but it starts from the decision makers and I'll, I'll put this forward this humble plea please to the administrators of our game especially the people at the ghana football association and this i'm directing it directly to the president of the fe keto Kriku. he should move away from player players um selection influencing the coaches because to Ado did say that he, his advice to the next coach is simple he should come in there and be himself be strong and take decision defiling every form of influence from the big men. If only our, our big men can understand that, the tactical direction of this team should be left in the hands of our coaches. 
we have a future with this young team. Now, lastly, let me take you to Mohamed Kudus. How do you see this player? <laughs> take it or leave it. He's the next big thing for Ghana. We pray that he stay injury free. He's sure that we can build this team around him. I still believe Thomas Party too is very, very instrumental. He should be the next leader, the next captain of the team, guiding the likes of Kudus, Kamar Dean, and Co. Kamar Soa, Joseph Pencil, and Co. into the future. Kudus' ability is not in doubt. The best we can do to aid his complete development is to bring in a coach who is well experienced, a coach who coached him. Because again, as we are calling, saying all the good things about him, there are moments where if he's properly coached, he'll let go of the ball on time, he'll see the space, and he'll pick the pass. There are moments where if he has to depend on his own technical ability to build a team, then it's up to him for, for us to do that. He's a proper talent, a talent that personally I know, a talent that I regret. I wasn't the one who turned him down when he was at age um, 10 years. He came to my team, Argentinos Genius. I had to go and do something we were justifying the inclusion of players. When I came back, he had gone. Later, I saw him as, I, but what happened to this boy? And they said he came and we let go. But of course, it wasn't meant to be. But he's a talent I, I, I respect. And he's the next big team for Ghana. Thank you very much. God bless you.